Please continue. Seems like interesting conversations going on. Um, I don't have anything to kick us off, so Matt. Bearing, as it were, so I'll, I'll quit. Okay. Who else wants to go? Um, I don't really have any open like movements, ongoing negotiations, anything. Uh, I don't have an update on hostage negotiations. I think, as you know, I've been reluctant to talk about the status of negotiations from this podium uh, because we, uh, it has been our position that anything that we say about hostage, hostage negotiations can jeopardize our work to try to secure the release of hostages. So I, I don't have anything to say other than that it continues to be a top priority for everyone in this administration. The Secretary has had a number of calls about this very um, uh, matter with his foreign counterparts in the last few days, and of course it was a subject that he worked on a great deal during his recent travel to the region, but I, I don't want to discuss any details. Um, any uh, word on the sanctions waiver expiring today for Iran? So I don't have a comment to give on uh, the expiration of the waiver at this time, but I would remind you uh, of a few things with respect to these waivers in general, and that is that number one, there are 20 waivers that have been issued for um, the payment of uh, from Iraq for Iranian electricity imports. They go back to 2018. They started during the Trump administration. Uh, all in each of these waivers, it has been the case that none of this money goes to Iran. It is, it is held in accounts that are restricted where they can only be used to pay for food, medicine, humanitarian purposes, and other non-sanctionable activities. And it has been consistent with several policies that we have, one, to try to reduce Iran's leverage over Iraq, and two, to try to uh, wean Iraq from Iranian energy independence. We've had a number of policies we've worked with to try to, to um, ensure their energy independence, but in the meantime, they continue to buy Iranian, um, uh, Iranian electricity. And so we have in the past, as has the Trump administration, issued waivers to allow these funds to move to restricted accounts where, as I said, they can be used for humanitarian and other non-sanctionable purposes. Is there any concern about the uh, potential optics of, I guess, extending a sanctions waiver while um, Iranian proxy groups or are uh, attacking U.S. assets in the Middle East? We don't worry about optics. <laughs> we about, worry about reality. And the reality is that these funds, as I said, can only be used for humanitarian and other non-sanctionable purposes. And when it comes to holding Iran accountable for its destabilizing activities, I would remind you that we have imposed more than 400 sanctions on Iran since the outset of this administration. In the past few weeks, we have taken a no number of actions uh, uh, to ensure deterrence and to, uh, 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 the Pentagon has, has conducted strikes against Iranian-backed militias, and we will continue to hold accountable, Iran accountable for its destabilizing behavior in a number of manners. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Matt. go ahead. Um, you, you don't worry about optics, you worry about reality? Aren't optics reality? No. No. That, I mean, uh, the, we're going to get into a bit of a metaphysical well, debate, this, but I would say no, I'm no, not going to work. Yeah. About this, but, but, you know, what you see is what you get. That's reality, right? Uh, no, I would say what's real. <laughs> what you see is what you get. What the optics in the term, I the mean, optics the optics is people taking this and misinterpreting it and saying it's something that it's not, which is what's happened in the past when it's when it come to these waivers. And I'm making very okay, clear well, that what, these waivers what, are something that, has got, that have dated back to the Trump administration. What, what, is it, what, what is it that it is not? What are you saying it isn't? Uh, uh, I will say what it is, and I will let the, those who tend to talk about these waivers over and over again, they, have, they can speak for themselves. Well, okay. Are you saying that this is an, an absolute straight up renewal of what of what uh, has been done in the past and there are no changes to it? It doesn't allow uh, the Iranians to convert uh, money from Iraqi dinars into euros? So I am not going to speak to a new waiver. One has not been issued at this point. I'm speaking. Uh, so uh, if we get to the point where we can talk about a new waiver, I'll be happy to come in and talk about the specifics. But all of our waivers in the past have made very clear that the funds are held in accounts not in Iran and available only for humanitarian and non-sanctionable purposes. Yeah, but, 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 and, and you're saying that should there be a waiver this afternoon, I, it will be exactly the same. I am not going to talk about. Anything? I'm not going to talk about things that have not happened. I'll be happy to. I won't be here tomorrow. I'll be here Thursday. Be happy to talk about if if something has happened by the next time at this podium. I will happy be happy to talk about it. All right. And then uh, what what about the the fungibility argument that you heard 
a lot with the money from South Korea for the hostages. Um, why is that, why is that uh, argument wrong? So uh, I will say we have heard this a lot, I've addressed it a lot. So with respect to the Iranian regime, it has always funded destabilizing activities. It has done that first and foremost. It's one of its top priorities. It does that whether it receives, whether its people receive humanitarian benefits or not. Uh, to the extent that the Iranian people have greater access to food or medicine as a result of money covered by this waiver, that's food or medicine that otherwise would not have been available to them. And I would say, again, this is a policy that goes back to the previous administration. The previous administration apparently decided that it was worthwhile to have this money uh, uh, spent for the benefit of the Iranian people, with whom we have no quarrel. Our quarrel is with the Iranian regime and its destabilizing activities. Uh, and so our, what we see is an Iranian regime that whether these waivers are issued or not, whether their people benefit from these monies or not, continues to fund hostile activities. That has not changed. Uh, it has not changed going back years. Well, if, <laughs> whether or not they, they, they benefit from, from this money, isn't that the whole point? The whole point is that, My, is that they're supposed to. But the, the problem is, and the argument against this, is that the Iranians are going to spend the same amount of money on their people I, as they did before. But now I, they've got I, another $10 so, billion or so. so I, to, I, to, to, I, to, I don't accept that argument. I, uh, what, we, what we so believe, inside, you, no, you know what the Iranians no, are doing? what we believe is the Iran, the Iranian regime is going to spend the same amount of money on destabilizing activities because it always has, and we will take actions to hold them accountable for those destabilizing act activities as we have from the beginning of this administration. What we have seen is that when these waivers have been issued, that money has been used for the benefit of the Iranian people. Period. Yeah, and then the money that they had inside of Iran that would have been spent on this is then and is then freed up. For you are making an assumption that the Iranian government. No, no. Well, let, let me just Matt. Let me finish. You are making an assumption when you say that that the Iranian government is choosing the benefit of its people over funding terrorism and funding other destabilized no, actions. That That's happens. not what we've seen. We've seen You're them, we've seen, them. no, no, I'm not. I've what? seen them as a first priority <laughs> fund destabilizing activities. We think increasing the amount of money that flows for the benefit of the Iranian people is something that's worthwhile. And again, this is not that money that was paid, that Iraq owes to Iran for electricity that Iran delivered. Yeah, but I, you're, you're twisting it 180 degrees. I think I, the, the opposite of what, I, I'm not saying that they're not going to spend any of this money on food and medicine and That's other all this money can be spent on. Yeah, but that means that they have X amount of dollars it, more you, in their own only, treasury that they can that they can spend only, on destabilizing activities. Only if you, because, only if you assume they were going to fund food and medicine and other activities. And I'm saying you, that's not a necessarily correct assumption. But you, no, they could you make the choice. They, to, no. You said that they were. And you said also that even no, if they are spending not. that money, that they're going to still fund destabilizing activities. I said their first priority is to fund destabilizing activities. So why, that would is you, the why would you give them money? Or because this give, money will not. Give them money, but, but why would you? Why would you do this? I feel like we're arguing in circles here a little bit. Well, that's not because, for the first time. <laughs> no, it, it's not, and this has gone back for several administrations now, because I, I don't understand your argument that you can be so sure that none of this money is going to increase the amount of cash that Iran spends to destabilize the region. Because Iran does not. When I, what we see is when making its choices for how to spend its money. Iran, the Iranian regime does not choose to feed its people first. Exactly. They choose to fund destabilizing activities first. They always have. As far as we can tell, they always will. So when it, we're looking at this money, we see the benefit to allowing these, these funds to move again to restricted accounts where they can only benefit the Iranian people. All right. Go ahead, Jen. And I don't, I, I, I don't understand how you can't, what, what well, I, we don't understand each other, I think, but go ahead, Jen.